Hello, my name's Paul Stockdale from ABCPE. Welcome um, to the site where we try and make VCE physical education as easy as ABC. I'd like to speak about energy systems today. Firstly, what are they? Well, you need to know that all muscular contractions are powered or the energy comes from a compound called adenosine triphosphate. Unfortunately, we only have a very limited supply that's um, stored in the muscle, around one to two seconds of activity. Uh, and then we either stop or we have to produce ATP. Um, and the thing that produces ATP in our body are our energy systems. So what's ATP? Adenosine triphosphate made up of an adenosine and three phosphate molecules, as you can see in the diagram there. When one breaks off, energy is released and that energy um, produces a muscular contraction. As I said, we've only got very limited supply in the body. Down the bottom you can see a formula. Um, ATP gets broken down to ADP, adenosine diphosphate, um, meaning two, and a PI, or an inorganic phosphate, and that gives us some energy. All right, so how does the body produce ATP? Well, the energy systems do it, and there are three energy systems, and which one we use is totally dependent on the intensity and the duration of the activity that we're doing at the time. Uh, all three are always used. It's just a matter of what percentage they're used at any given time. So we've got two anaerobic energy systems, that is they don't need oxygen, and one aerobic energy system that requires oxygen. You can see there under what circumstances we would use each energy system. We're going to go into each one in greater detail now. So the ATPPC system um, is anaerobic, that is it doesn't need oxygen. It's fueled by a chemical substance or a chemical fuel called phosphocreatine or creatine phosphate. That breaks down very, very quickly. You can see it's a very simple and quick uh, chemical reaction. And that gives us immediate energy to rebuild an ATP. That is, for every creatine phosphate molecule we get, an ATP or 0.7 depending on what text you read. Because it's such a simple chemical reaction, it's really, really quickly. It only gives us one, so we say that that's a low yield compared to the other energy systems. And the classic example would be uh, the discus thrower, the shot putter. The 100 meter sprinter is gonna rely on it greatly. Um, the fuels run out and they need to be replenished. And the only way we can do that is by stopping exercise and having a passive recovery. Here's a VCAR question. You have now enough information to answer that. See how you go. And hopefully by looking at the slide, you came up with C, a very fast rate, but a very low yield. The second anaerobic system is the anaerobic glycolysis system. Uh, doesn't require oxygen. We switch fuels now. We're looking at glycogen being the fuel and glycogen is stored carbohydrate. The body will take in carbohydrate, digest it down to glucose, transport it in the bloodstream, and then store it as glycogen in the muscle. This system only uses glycogen. You can see the chemical reaction, the process, is quite a bit more complex. There's more steps, glycogen to glucose, to pyruvic acid, and then if there's no oxygen, remembering that this is an anaerobic system, so there is no oxygen. Um, we produce lactic acid, which then breaks down to hydrogen ions and lactate. And we get two to three ATP from that process. So it has a low yield, but not as low as the previous system. This can be done quickly, but again, because it's a more complex equation, it's not as quick as the previous energy system, the ATT, ATP PC system. Now, the bugger about this one is that it produces a fatiguing metabolic byproduct. And when that accumulates in our muscle, it will fatigue us. It'll stop us from exercising. And that byproduct is hydrogen ions. And unfortunately, that takes time to be removed. Um, we need to slow down our exercise. That is, we need to complete an active recovery. Here's a VCAR question. Um, now that we know a little bit about both systems, I'll give you some time to look at it. And again, if you saw the fastest rate, you should know that, um, that it's the ATP PC system. You can see there it's CP, doesn't matter, either or. Finite capacity just means that we don't 
get energy from these systems forever. That is, they, they run out. They run out pretty quickly. We're going to skip the aerobic system and do it next time. Otherwise, the video becomes too long. Well, the quick one today, um, just the anaerobic systems. Thanks for watching. Um, my name's been Paul Stockdale. Uh, if you need any more information or you're looking for free video tutorials, um, student summary notes and flashcards, please go to our website at www.abcpe.com.au. I'll see you next time. Thank you.